From steam engines to beer brewing, there's a long, proud history of scientific invention in Birmingham and the wider Midlands. Now, Birmingham is launching its first ever year of science with all sorts of events for all sorts of ages. We sent our science correspondent, David Gregory Kumar, along to find out more, and he joins us now from the Library of Birmingham, where the year of science was actually launched. David, what can we expect? Well, Nick, we got a bit of a taste of what we can expect at the Library of Birmingham behind us today at the launch event. There were some hands-on experiments for kids of all ages, and some of our top scientists from our top universities here in the Midlands were on hand to explain what we can expect uh, and what all this festival means for you, me, and the Midlands. In front of the Library of Birmingham, science buskers attract the crowds. Inside, marmites, robots, and plenty of liquid nitrogen introduce Birmingham's Year of Science. It's astounding. I mean, we've got a range of really brilliant researchers, um, including researchers from the universities here in Birmingham. And, um, you know, it's an opportunity for people to come and hear about their research, but actually to, you know, to engage in dialogue as well, to ask questions of those researchers, to find out what the implications are of that science um, for themselves and their own lives, for, um, for, for instance, making political decisions, economic decisions, um, all of those sort of things. In Birmingham and indeed the Midlands, science is a serious business. Today we're, we've got a really strong scientific background as well. You know, we've got 40% uh, growth over the last eight years within the science sector, and that's one of the fastest growing areas of our economy. We've also got 14,000 students who, who actually are here studying science. That's more than any other regional city. Not far from today's launch event, we find this rather blingy statue of Bolton, Watt and Murdoch. Now, these guys did everything from steam engines through to improving the brewing process. And they're a sign of the long and proud scientific tradition of Birmingham and the Midlands. And recognising that history, the year will culminate in the British Science Festival in September, a massive science event that's been going since 1831. We want to really make uh, science a part of a city's life for a week. We want to say that this is the biggest thing you should be thinking about for an entire week. We want to have debates and talks and ideas and drama and comedy all focused around science. Um, so it's really there for the public to, to see what science is really about and connect with scientists. A year of science then in this most scientific of cities. And if you're wondering what they were doing at the end there, I think that was an experiment to actually try and work out their different lung capacities, those kids there, which is quite a nifty use for a bin liner, if you think about it. Now, if all this has whetted your appetite, given you a taste, but wanted to learn more about the Festival of Science, well, you can find all the details on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Midlands Today. There are plenty of events, many of them are free, uh, and they're for all ages and all levels of scientific understanding as well. For me, a highlight is going to be the British Association Science Festival in the autumn, back in the Midlands, back in Birmingham, going since 1831. They say there wasn't even a word for scientist in the English language when the festival actually started out. And William Murdoch, one of the guys in gold on that statue in my report, well, he was still alive when the first few British Association meetings uh, were carried out, which is an extraordinary thought and a lovely link to our scientific past. Back to you, Nick. And education as always, David. Thank you.